It's got to run! It's a flounder! Oh my god! Put it on a biscuit! It's a flounder run! What is going on, everybody? How are you doing? And, uh... It's a little early in the morning, you know, just drinking my um, little morning hot tea and getting my Insta360 Ace Pro ready. I'm going to be filming with that today, first time on a trip, fishing trip uh, for myself with that. And uh, also Insta360 um, X3, so I'm going to have this on a stick and uh, this is going to be on the action hat. And I'm going to go out and do a little winter fishing. Primarily going to be targeting some speckled trouts. I really want to get into the uh, the specks and see if we can find them. Now, it's cold. The water level is low. It's a little blown out. And that happens a lot of times during the winter time. You will get into those lower water conditions. I'm expecting the water visit visibility be pretty good. I mean, typically around the winter time, the water vis uh, does clear up. And uh, I'm gonna stop and get some live shrimp. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Also gonna be fishing with the cork. I have another rig that's set up with a couple split shots for uh, more on bottom. And then I have a second rod that is set up with lures. So I'll be Trying to cover all the aspects and do a little drift fishing, fish around West Bay a little bit. I'm going to be joining Cody Dunn, Captain Cody Dunn. We're taking his little flat bottom boat out. Going to get into some skinny water. Oh my gosh. What did y'all do? Did you just freaking get, you just fan mud on your face? You got it on stuck. your sunglasses. <laughs> We're going to get stuck. No, we are stuck. And also going to be joining us is Billy Ray from... Yeah, Saltwater So is going to be coming on, so he's going to be on deck. It's been a while since I fished with the guys. I'm thinking the bite's going to be slow. Uh, we have a tide that is dumping, dumping out. Uh, we already have low tide and we're gonna, lower tides, and we're going to have wa uh, the water just kind of pushing. It's going to be good that it's flowing, but I think they're going to run into just a little bit of a, a tough bite. Start the morning off a little bit drift fishing, try to find a couple of deep holes, and a lot of times the, the trout will stack up in those during the winter time. And then after that, about 10, 11 o'clock, the tide should turn around and start coming back in. And hopefully that's going to trigger another bite too. So let me finish getting all my camera gear together and uh, finish my morning cup of hot tea. Get out in the water. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Cody's Dunn's Nonprofit is in the description section of the video there's a link for that in case you want to donate saltwater souls links down there and i'll also throw other links uh what i'm using to fish with what i'm using to record with i'll toss all that down there too in case uh, some of y'all that might be interested but enough talking let's go fishing Oh, lost my shrimp. <clears throat> it smells so good. To me. Uh, it's a nice size shrimp, though. They're, they're all nice little mediums. Need some big ones for some big trout. I said shrimp size. They're mediums. They're not too small. What are you looking at? Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Spend a little time drift fishing. We're drifting up over some of these oyster reefs in hopes to get on some of the speckled trout that may be cruising around and feeding the area. It's just not uh, just not panning out like the way we had hoped for. The bite's a little slow, so we're gonna move and see if we can go find some flounder. See if we can go find some trout and even some reds in a couple of deep holes. Where we going? What are we doing? What are we going? What's the word? What's the what's the deal? We're going far. What's the word? What's the deal? We're going far? I need a donut. Who's going? Can I buy this donut from me? 
a guy that didn't want any breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little something. You got a little something on your chin. <laughs> Look like uh. I'm mad now. Why are you mad? I'm mad at the fish. You mad at the fish? They mad at you because you ain't fished in Watch. forever. Watch. You ain't fished in forever. This is this is what we get. All right, so I haven't fished in over a month. Cody hasn't fished in damn near a month. And Bill Ray don't fish I fished anymore. Up two days ago. No, 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 no. That. Dog fishing don't no, count. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you don't wake up and have to pack a lunch, you ain't fishing. I'll call Chad. <laughs> We found this nice deep hole right at intersecting waters and that's always a great area to target fish no matter what season it is. We drop anchor. I'm going to be throwing my cork out a little bit and then I'll probably switch to uh, fish on the bottom a little bit with a few split shots. You know these live shrimps are, are excellent live shrimps, very lively. I'm storing them in this bait butler and that mesh net really helps to keep these shrimp alive and active. Look at that slick over there now. You on the fish? Yeah. Well, you got to say it, bro. Well, fish on? Sure. Fish on? Finally. Small one. Small trout. Flounder. Is it? Mm-hmm. Hey, flounder. A little flatty. Flounder! It's flounder run! It's a flounder! Oh, my God! Put it on a biscuit. It's a flounder run! <laughs> the flounder run is not over, I told you. <laughs> January 6th. It's still going. It's still going. But I want smaller hook and smaller line. I put 15 pound line. I had 20, but I there we go. I told you. I told you this hardhead's coming at home with me. I mean this hardhead. Catch and cook a hardhead. Catch and cook a hardhead. Catch and cook a hardhead. They're running. I'm telling you, they're running. Put that on a cracker, dude. They're running. They're running. They're running. Don't y'all need to get a done rig out? Look, they're running. They're right here. Nice job, running. That's two flounder. Put that out of cracker, dude. Cracker. They ain't, it ain't over till it's over. That's how I do, dog. That's just how I do. That's how I do do. That's how I do do. All right. I'll try it again. See, look, there's a little octopus hook. It worked. That was the same spot I was filling in a minute ago. Boom, 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 boom. Now it makes sense what it was. Before I thought it was. There you go. Was it there? What was it? Boom, 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 boom. We found a little school, a little flounder. Like that, yeah. That was a trout that came up right here. There you go. I told you it was a trout, but it ended up being a flounder again. Another flounder. <laughs> Another flounder. Hey. Oh my gosh. That might, this where they all breed at right here? Where Saw the go? little ones. Flounder run. What did I tell 2.0. I told you guys to say. Flounder run 2.0. Is that all that's out here? A little flounder? Flounder. I thought you had something. I thought you had something big on. <laughs> I did. I got excited. That was like a big red. Thanks. Hold Are it you up. making fun of my Hold flounder? No, I'm not, I'm not making fun. Hold it out further so it looks bigger. <laughs> extend hey, your right, extend your arm so it looks bigger. Yeah. So. Ooh, there the go. infamous Ooh. flounder run. He's pretty like me. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> In the back marsh, I started noticing that there was some birds diving and diving, and on our way out, we got a little closer look to see what they were actually doing. There were terns, uh, also known as live birds, and yes, they're called that because a lot of times they will mislead you and misguide you to where you're thinking that the fish are active and they're diving on bait and they're hovering over a school of bait and that will lead you to a school of predator fish in this case hoping for a school of reds and uh yeah there is a lot of reds i see the splashing i'm excited 
Billy Ray's excited. Cody's excited. We're going to have to try to push our luck just a little bit. Cody didn't want to destroy his new prop on his boat. So he was kind of playing it safe. Never running this boat in these low water conditions back in here. He hasn't set any tracks for this boat yet on his electronics. So he really doesn't know a good route to take. But uh, we're going to turn back around and see if we can press our luck, push our luck, and get back in there. Because I'm looking at these reds and they're all upper to uh, over slightly. Lot. I'm looking at probably about anywhere from 15 to 20 reds and they're just splashing on the top water surface they look like tuna it, it is crazy out there there's a feeding frenzy going on and I want some of that action so we ran aground birds over here but it's super low so we're gonna try to get get to them but we're aground right now Oh my gosh! What did y'all do? Did you just freaking get you just fan mud on your face? You got it on stuck. your sunglasses. <laughs> We're gonna get stuck. No, we are stuck. Trim it down a little bit now. Hard 90. Trim it down hard 90. You're an offshore boy. You get it on your, right, your glasses. <laughs> hit the, hit the throttle. Get, I was trying to turn it off. And oh, it the throttle, <laughs> you, you, it you, you was trying to turn it off, but you cranked it up. Rah! <laughs> Cold as hell. Almost got caught in it. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That is funny. Does the channel go straight or does it come and turn here? I don't think there at this point there is any more channel. I think it. I think you needed to curve over here to the left and cover these well, islands. This is this is greener over here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Greener yeah, patch. Greener, then we'll pasture. Get stuck. Yeah, we're Let's get it shallow. See that? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're shallow, shallow, shallow. Back it up. Oh yeah. Back it up. Oh, they're diving again. No, no. They're going crazy again, bro. Right in front of Billy Ray. Look at that water splashing. Look at all that underneath the water. Oh my gosh. That whole water is like. Look like jacks. Did we go around maybe? And then we're going to get stuck. If that, we get stuck. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck. If you go, you, got, you can't stop and then you got to be able to get out of the mud. I've been out here stuck. Well. We just can't get back there. Uh, I just it's heartbreaking to have to call it. Um, the guys don't want to run a risk of running the ground and getting stuck out here for several hours. And uh, you know, I, I think if it was a little warmer, I might jump out of the boat and uh, be in knee-high mud and try to get myself back there. But uh, not having my waders, not having my waders, my um, my weight boots i just not uh just not in a car today we're gonna have to just uh, admire the fish from afar and uh, leave defeated and out